Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Memes channel. Today, we are going to play some Kerbal Space Program Science Mode. And I've installed lots of mods so that we can, you know, troll around with some of the epic epoch. And I have the Crescent Flag. The Crescent the Crash Incredible Space Program. And this is going to be a nice little science mode save because I am not a masochist. I will not play career mode because career mode is self torture. Okay, so we've installed a couple of mods. Copernicus is one of them. So now we have. Three moons around Kerbin instead of two. There are there are more planets. One. Yeah. Okay. And then we have three new planets: Helvica, Kronkus, and Valor. And then we have like a bunch of small objects around the sun. It's all nice and neat. It's all neat, and you know we have the same. We have astronomers visual pack installed, so you know everything looks much nicer. As well as parallax, so you know this whole game is going to look much better, much better, much 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 better. So now let's zoom out from Kerbal to another to the local group of stars. Added in by Galaxy's Unbound, Unbounded, Unbound, Stellar Odyssey. This mod is insane, it adds in so many new stars. And when I mean, uh, uh, like, so many new stars, I genuinely mean, like, so many stars that it makes me nuts. That makes me cross-eyed, looking at this map. map. And we can, and we have plenty of mods, even looks like an actual Venus analogue, Gilly. Gilly no longer looks looks like a sad, depressing orb of lump of sadness. So now we're gonna go into the sun. So we've also added some extra mods to reach the nearest star, to reach these other stars. KSPI. So you know, oh. God, there's so much here. There's experimental aircraft engines, uh, high energy physics. This is all so cool. Oh wow, that was a big chew. Sorry about that. So, like, we have just all of this. And at the end of it all comes two different warp drives. Jump technology faster than light. I've installed blue shift. Added in these things, and then uh, faster than light, which adds in the actual things, so you know I can figure out. I can just figure out how to get to these other stars. I mean, we have bucket. I mean, we have sun buckets. We, look, all of this is just the meant. Ooh, and the unified field theory is where all we get. And this is much cheaper than the KSPI warp drive, so we might use this for in-system things. So my main goal would probably be to un unlock a couple of these texts, but I think it'd be also kind of neat if we got. Uh, unified field theory because then we could build spaceships that are able to travel faster than light which would be very convenient but right now the collection space program has really only the technology to build a little sad little nugget rocket that will launch into space that is sad I've also installed restock so you know the parts actually look like good so that the parts are good. Right now we only have access to things like, say, 
Right, only, right now we only have access to sad little crappy parts. Parts. Which are sad and crappy and little. Sad, which are all. Which are sad, crappy and little. <coughs> no. The only science experiment we have is the mystery goo containment unit. We also have editor extensions and a... Uh, Look, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of new things. I have a lot of new mods in this install. It's why it takes like 20 minutes to load. So, what? So, hang on, what's that? Find some. Yes, aerodynamics. Aerodynamics. And we get some aerodynamic parts and we'll just slap them on. Make sure they turn back on 50 degree. 15 degrees, because 15 degrees is. Editor Extensions Redux is so, so good. We also have life support mods and deep freeze, but I didn't pick Kerbalism because I'm not a masochist. So, what will we name our first great venture into space? Spit. Spit will be the first Kerbal venture into space, but before we even, you know, press the glorious space button of sadness, we obviously need to exit. We obviously need to perform all the experiments that a normal, that an absolutely based gamer is going to do. So we have Chris, a uh, couple name room divisor, so we can just let's just perform some lovely little observations. Observation. Take a surface sample. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, buddy. Uh, EVA report. And now we can actually launch. So, this little sad little bean thing is going up into the sad little atmosphere. To the sad atmosphere. The sadosphere. Whee! Yay! And our first venture into the stars is about going up at like 8,000 meters. There go, turn off the S, I guess. The S. The <laughs> So now the pod's obviously going to tilt itself, tilt its butt over. Yeah, I'm going to point it retrograde. Four times the speed, please. One, four times, four times speed, please. Ah, there we go. Chris. Chris will not die today. Then instead we can admire the beautiful edge of the sea. Scatterer is truly a beautiful invention. See, when I made this video, Seacam was a glorious failure. You didn't expect me to make a full series out of this, shouldn't, shouldn't, did you? Jesus Christ, my nose is clogged to snot. Yeah. Obviously, we've recovered the spacecraft. 27 science. Not bad, kid. Not bad. Not bad at all.
So what I want to focus on next is probably getting, you know, uh, advanced general rocketry and then maybe this and then maybe stability. But right now we have engineering and but we now have new technology such as the two hot thermometer, such as a thermometer and this is barom the barometer. The Honestly, what's next? The ometer, the ometer, ometer, the gun ometer. We now have the couplers. You know, much, much better. But obviously, we won't be using those since we have the much better liquid fuel engines now. And of course, I need to install a decoupler. And why waste still to be with this crappy little first stage when you can, you know, use an actual stay first stage? So what I wanted to do. So what I want to do, obviously, is to, you know... Is obviously to, you know, equip... So we've kitted out the rocket with the new science experiments. So what I kind of wanted to do was to get it all the way up... Get all the way up into the atmosphere. Coupling. So I'm guessing that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. So we'll separate th that into a different stage because I don't want to die horribly. And then we'll at the bottom add the hammer, call it Spit 2. And blast off. <coughs> I don't think we should have kept the other mystery goo containment unit, but this thing is gonna go potentially, may I add, potentially into space. Which is <coughs> the exact reason why I'm gonna skip, you know, the atmosphere. So, you know. Oh, I can't use a um, revert flight to launch. Hang on. All right. And the last thing I want. Right, so I just accidentally launched something into space. Let's just go back in time a little to when I was not an idiot, and let's click this button. Gravity Turn is an amazing mod, because <coughs> Gravity Turn is a probably the best mod ever created by humans. Is probably the best thing ever created by humans. Just saying it. Just getting it out of the way. Yeah, this, this mod is so good. It's the greatest thing ever created by humans. Hmm. Alright, so we're just rocketing off into space with our little piss engine. Oh wait, 
right, it says it right here. 26. We're gonna get up to 26k. Do I maybe want to observe the fluid? Yeah, sure. Keep, keep the experiment. It's not. That's actually a new ex. That's actually a new science report. So maybe we can record temperature and pressure from Kerbin's upper atmosphere, and it'll be different. Slowly but surely, we're making it to space. We're not gonna put this craft into orbit. If we put this craft into orbit, it'd be very sad and not stay in orbit. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna just stay there. Well, I don't exactly know what its thought process was, what the game's thought process, what Gravity Turns thought process was, was, but sure, I'll unlock the temperature. But sure, I'll take the science, but sure, I'll take some scientific readings. Didn't make it to space, though. Didn't make it to space. Maybe even now we can like take a crew report. Yeah, sure, keep the experiment. Uh. Why is it flying in like a perfectly s Wait. Wait. Uh. Wait just one. Wait just one freaking second. I are you telling me? Right, the thick side. Right, parachute's been deployed. We're entering the atmosphere. We're entering, passing the clouds. Christ, Christ, Christ! Huh, so now I understand why all our, or why everything is going so unmistakably well. It's because this guy's in charge. Christ! Christ is my boss. Christ is works for me. He's not my boss. He works for me. He's a jobless. He's jobless and makes me. And maybe yet observe the goo. What do you mean all hatches are abstracted? Well, well, you can leave. No, you can definitely leave. Okay, if you can't leave, then I'll just recover the vessel. <coughs> so, guys, after two launches, a bit of exposition, and a tech tree looking at. I can safely say that this video is over, so uh, I'll be done for today. This, it just, just, install Seacan, it's very good for modding.